over the last three to four weeks, maybe even longer, I've been on a hunt for my next daily. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, I, I really, really like this car. Good morning. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to a very early start on Supercars of London. This is not where I intended on making the next video. Um, I'm in a hotel in Harrogate, which is about 20 minutes away from Knaresborough, which is where Redline Specialist cars are. And off camera, after the BMW M4 drive, I had a lot to think about and I had a lot to talk about with the guys down at Redline. And I've come to a conclusion that today is the day that I'm gonna buy my new daily and I'm also gonna drive it off from their showroom floor or forecourt and drive it back to London. So the last time I drove down this road was yesterday in the BMW M4 and the time before that was in Tom's Ferrari F12. And now we are walking down because at the end of this road, in the uh, sort of right at the back of the industrial estate is Redline Specialist Cars. And I am here with Alex. Alex, how's your night sleeping <laughs> hotel? Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we're heading down to Redline and uh, my new daily, hopefully, is gonna be sitting there in the showroom ready for me to drive away, which is an insane turn of events in the last 24 hours. Thank you for everyone who has joined the journey to find the next daily. And today, I hope you guys are pleased with the decision that I've made. It is freezing, I wish I'd walk home. Check out the insane stock. SV Roadster. Novatech and Largo, 509 GTO, and there it is. Good Dean, good, good morning. morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm very good, sir. How are you? It's cold. Nice to see you. <laughs> yeah. It is cold, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Oh. oh, well, welcome back to Redline. I know. I'm, yeah. I'm like all sorts of different cars in here. My car's ready under the cover. It is. It's just here, yeah. yeah. We've, uh, we've put a red cover on there. Do you like that? I do. No. Shall we have a look? Yeah, let's have a look. I won the lottery last night, I'm joking. I keep forgetting that I've got a bag on, just like bashing into it and Largo and yeah, it's well tedious. Wow. Well, uh, enough, of, enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see this anymore. <laughs> so I am walking over to my car now. It is under a cover and I'm still kind of holding back from uh, showing you because I think that you'll be able to guess it from the shape that is underneath the cover but this is going to be the first time that I've seen it like properly detailed and collection ready so I think I'm going to get Dean to do the honours, pull the cover back, get Alex to hold the camera and then uh, I can check out my car for the first time and drive it out there. Here we go, this ladies and gentlemen <laughs> is my new daily from Red Light. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that looks so clean! Holy... That is awesome. That is so good. I had to come outside <laughs> and wait and check out, that is my new car, Nuke Point 2, version 2, gen 2 of the Nuke, this is 
my new daily. We are now gonna drag this car out of the showroom, get it out under natural light so you guys get to see the car in all of its glory and then I'm gonna go over the specs, I'm gonna go over exactly why this specific car was the perfect replacement to the Audi A1. It is one hell of a jump, but I am so excited. So let's get it outside, check it out under natural light and I suppose let's go for a drive. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is my 2015, it's a 65 plate, so it's exactly the same age as my Audi A1. This car has done less than 7,000 miles in the space of a year, so it's done less miles than my Audi A1 did, and Redline have absolutely smashed it. This is my dream spec. Obviously, I wanted a black car. It's got a little bit too much chrome, which is gonna disappear pretty quickly, but I wanna take this opportunity to run through some of the specification on this car. So Redline have printed out this official BMW spec list. So it has got all of the mirrors on the interior and exterior or auto dimming pretty boring it's got cruise control with the braking so when, you, when you're getting too close to the car it's got the uh, braking assist as well so you can slow the car slows itself down my Audi A1 didn't even have cruise control so the interior you may have already been able to tell has got white seats now that's probably the most ludicrous thing about this car being the daily so this is the BMW M3 it's the four-door the M4 I just thought as an awesome car Maybe I do need the rear seat. So this is the first time that I've had a four-door car. My Vauxhall Astra was the two-door SXI sport car, R8, Lamborghini, AMG GTS, and the Audi A1 was just the two-door. So this is my first four-door car. Look. Have a, have a seat. No, I'm joking. Don't have, don't have a seat. Um, you need to take your shoes off if you do have a seat. <laughs> More options. It's got the um, BMW M2 dual clutch transmission gearbox, it's got the adaptive M chassis, it's got reversing camera, it's got far carbon fiber accents all over the interior of the car, that was a big thing for me. It just makes the interior a little bit more special. Uh, the Yas Marina BMW M4 didn't have it and I was just like, it, it kind of needs it. Literally, this is the perfect spec. When I came back and I was like, okay, M4, M3, what have you got? And, uh, and they had this car moving forward. We've got electric seats, we've got memory seats, everything like that, heated seats, park distance control, concierge service, no idea what that is. Navigation, heads up display, which is obviously a huge thing with the um, M series. It is not, it does not come as standard. Heads up display is um, actually an optional extra, which I didn't even realize. And it's also got the full Harman Kardon surround sound system. So it's got so many optional extras that, I mean, I still don't understand what they are. No real idea of what most of the buttons do, but the reason that I thought it could be the perfect opportunity to drive a BMW M3 and own a BMW is so that we can learn it together. I literally might find a new option on that car in the next three or four days, or even six months. It literally, I'm just so excited to drive that car and get some miles under my belt. I have only driven one BMW M3, and that was a manual, and that was at the Goodwood circuit with the BMW experience days and things like that. That was only on a skid pan, so I have not done a mile on the road in a BMW M3. So uh, this is gonna be interesting, but as a collection, Redline have been absolutely phenomenal. They've been truly helpful. Obviously invited me down to drive the M4. I had no idea, maybe they had an idea that I was gonna buy a car, but I did not think that this was going to be the replacement to the Audi A1. I mean, <laughs> I can't believe, like I generally, I'm so excited. I'm so excited and just blown away and overwhelmed that, uh, that that's, that's my new car. I don't really know what to say. Um, other than, I just want to drive it now. <laughs> Ready to roll? Yes. Shoes off? 
shoes are off. Good. Let's roll. This is the first mile. I haven't even set my seat up properly. I need to lower my seat a little bit. I like sitting as far down as possible. And here we go, we're leaving Redline in my new car, the BMW M3 with a chunky steering wheel. This steering wheel feels massive. Oh, see you later, Redline. I'm not gonna boot it like top, actually, no, I will. No, I'm not. <laughs> So here we go, the first couple of miles in the BMW M3. Oh my God, what an insane 24 hours this has been. I have to say that first of all, I'm blown away with my prompt decision making. I wonder whether seeing Sam pick up his bath and be insanely jealous that he's got a cool daily has sort of given me this surge of motivation to find the perfect car and then it just seemed like all of the stars aligned perfectly together and I was driving the BMW M4 and I just thought that it was awesome but then I've posted a picture of the M4 and then because I kind of complained and banged my head on the door about the fact that it's a two-door everyone was saying get the M3 so hopefully you guys are ex as, as excited as I am. I am so damn excited. Right, I need to, I'm gonna pull over, I'm gonna sign off from this video, pull over, and then we're gonna drive back to London, which is a separate video. Take that start stuff off. Start stop off. <laughs> oh, it look good in that window there. It look good in that window there. And the sun is now on the, on the road. The sun always tries to creep into my video, which is a good thing. We're headed to the A1M. We are going back down south, people, and it has been an absolute pleasure to visit Knaresborough and Harrogate for the second time. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting. Hopefully, you are as pleased as me with my decision on a new daily and there are gonna be so many modifications to come. There is so much cool stuff that you can do to this car. I follow some really interesting BMW M3 owners that have done some crazy stuff to their cars. So I'm gonna be taking a little bit of inspiration from everyone and putting my own twist and style on this car. And for the first time, even though I bought this car black, it might not stay black throughout its entire life on the Supercars of London YouTube channel. I'll leave it at that. Please give it a thumbs up if you were expecting the BMW M3 or you love the BMW M3 and subscribe for a lot more content on this beast to come. I'm now going to drive home and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video on this bad boy. Cheers guys. <laughs>